One thing you can do is help me with a spell later to deal with my principal so I can set up a club at school before my baptism to protect Susie and all the girls. If I can't stay with them, at least I can do this one thing. My grimoire is your grimoire. And what time will we be spell casting? Midnight-ish. Witching hour? Ooh, spooky. This isn't like you, cousin, using witchcraft to settle personal vendettas. These are desperate times, Ambrose. Now remember, I don't want to kill Principal Hawthorne. I just need to give him a good scare. Miss Wardwell told me he's terrified of spiders. Well, that's easy then. It's lucky that Aunt Hilda keeps them as her familiars. Are you sure you don't want to kill him? Because we could do that. Nope. I just need him to take a day or two off from school. Right. Well, we'll only mildly traumatize him then. Spider, oh spider, pray, why do you spin your pretty white web so fine and so thin to catch fat flies and make them into pies? Spider, oh spider, pray, do you not see? Here comes a big, buzzing, blundering bee. He'll spoil your fine net while you fume and you fret, but no mercy you grant, and no mercy you'll get. This is Mortuary. Hello? Speaking, who's this? Uh, Luke! Of course I remember. Yeah. I've met someone, Auntie. Hmm? And he's asked if I'd like to go on a date with him. Oh. So I was going to astral project to a coffee shop with your help. Well, that's risky. Also, you wouldn't be able to touch him, love. No. We could see each other, have a conversation. Face to face, I like him, auntie. Well, no, I know. I'm sorry, hon. But it's just, it's too dangerous. Auntie Z projects all the time. And with you guarding my body, I'll be perfectly safe. Only the dead are allowed to travel the astral plane. You spend enough time out there, and the psychopunks will find you. They will assume you are dead. They will carry you off to the hereafter, or they will tattle to the dweller in the abyss. They may look like sweet little sparrows, but they are, in fact, vicious, spiteful, hateful creatures, much like sisters. First sign of a psychopomp, and I'm out of there. Swear on Satan's claw. Can't do it. We'll need candles, the address of the coffee shop, mm -hmm. and a map. Okay. We do it in the embalming room. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Righto. Oh. We've got 20 minutes. 30. 20, and I'm pulling you back. Vola anime peretera, vola anime peretera, vola anime peretera, vola anime peretera.
Hey there. Hi. So do you, uh, you come here a lot? Not a lot, no. I, I definitely would not say a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty kitschy. So what are your usual really? odds? I, uh, I'm more of a homebody myself. How about you? Nervous, Ambrose? No, nervous. <laughs> oh, how, how do you mean what? Well, you haven't touched your drink and you keep looking out the window as if you're expecting someone. I thought I'd have more time. I have to go, Luke. What? I'm sorry, this, this was a mistake. No, Ambrose, wait. Hilda, Is where are you? Her? Where's Ambrose? <gasps> Have you two completely taken leave of your senses? Astral projection of all the stupid, reckless things you could well do. well in hand. You left a client alone upstairs, which is totally unprofessional, Hilda. And Ambrose, my dear felon, you are housebound. You are forbidden from leaving the grounds, and that includes your spirit. Sabrina, what the devil is going on? Not the devil, Ambrose, a demon in the house. What do you, you mean a demon? What kind of demon? Whatever kind it is, we have protocols in place. You do? We seal the house to contain the entity, to prevent it from escaping into the world where it would cause rampant, wanton chaos. Oh, right. That's right. Okay, let's, let's do this. Expeditibus We can hardly be all places at once. We can't protect the whole town. We can if we do the same as Father Blackwood is doing. When we gather the mortals together. So, so, so I think I might have the answer. Um, Dr. Cerberus told me something. He used to be the local weatherman. Oh, I say. And, um, he said that in the event of a tornado or severe weather, that the town's designated shelter was Baxter High Basement. That's a great idea, Aunt Hilda. All we need is a tornado. That's easy enough. Varius Northwind, I summon you. Eurus Eastwind, I summon you. Nortos Southwind, I summon you. Zephyros Westwind, I summon you. Is it working? How will we know? Give it a moment.
remember, the Yule log is not a decoration. It is a protection. It must burn continuously from now through the shortest day, through the longest night, until dawn. Otherwise, Satan knows what malevolent forces might come down our chimney. Creatures with perhaps deadly intentions. So let's keep the log lit, shall we? And now, the solstice blessing. May the log burn, may the wind turn, May the evil spurn, may the sun return. Rose, love, uh, did you find anything? I checked every room and closet. If the malevolence got in whilst the Yule log was out, hmm, they left once Aunt Hilda relit it. Or they're very adept at hiding. Either way, so much for a peaceful solstice. It's you, me, and a corpse to embalm. And some backwards written spells to decipher for Father Blackwood. Another lonely solstice. Mm. Your imagination is running away with you, Spellman. Yeah. 